M0 FXB Radto RT950. Let's add a memory channel. We'll do it on the A band with GB3WR. So first thing you want to do is get yourself into VFO mode by pressing the dedicated VM button here. So have a listen. Channel, mode. channel is memory. Press again. Frequency mode. That's you can now type a frequency. So we just go one, one four, five, seven. seven. Five zero. Five zero. That's GB3 Bravo Charlie, uh, quite near. I mean, we've connected an external antenna with the SMA here uh, to PL239. You can get those adapters on Amazon. And if you want, just out of interest, we could even go to the B band. Watch this. Put in the One, air band. Three, three, eight, five, zero. And you'll see how clearly that comes through in a minute. So back to the A with the dedicated ABC button. So now to start adding the parameters like the minus shift, the CTC, CTCSS, EDC, we need to just press the blue button which says OK. Press it Menu. and then go across till it says VFO and channel. Just there. Go across and then press the blue OK. Now we can start changing parameters. So the step, we're not going to need that. Direction we do need, press the OK. And we're going to go up and down and choose the minus shift and press OK. Confirm. You can create shortcuts for the for these on the on the main keypad, but we're not doing that now. So then it's offset. Press the blue button, and we've typed in to get to achieve 0 0.6000. It says here we have to put in 0 0 6 0 confirmed. And then to make sure that was the right amount, when we shift, 600 will come off here. And it does. And you can see that we've just opened up that repeater as well already. Right, but let's put, show you how to put the tone in. So now you just go menu, same place. A lovely structure that they've come up with, very clear. I'm looking forward to putting a boot up picture on this because I, I feel like it's going to look lovely. But press OK. And so we've got the, the minus, the 600 minus shift, just it will be on FM, but receive modulation FM and go down to channel memory and select and we'll put it on. It does make you select the zone first. So, you know, it'd be nice if we can rename the zones, but at the moment that's my favorites. So we could put in repeaters and PMR, and whatever you want, Menu. you choose. So back to channel memory and we're going to keep stay in zone one and look we can go down and the one that's blank does not say ch Confirm. there you go so that's already working um as we know if we go into memory mode vm channel mode so channel mode same as memory mode m0 fxb test As you can see, it's there, no problem at all. I just remembered there's a dedicated space for this, for the CT CSS that I had already set. So you go menu, menu. And go across until you see the red CT CSS. And we're gonna just go down to transmit CT CSS and select 94.8, we go up and down. So now we will need to re-save that in the memory. So go back up. Select. Oh, we need to go in VFO mode. Let's come out of the menu. Frequency mode. Then menu. Menu. Select. Make sure we're in VFO mode. Down to channel memory, zone one, and that was three. Confirm. Coming out now. There's two PTTs, but anyway, M0 FXB test. Wonder why we're not getting any beeps from GB3 Bravo Charlie. Let's uh, let's go back to memory mode. Channel mode. WR. Oh, there's airband. 
You can't transmit on air band. So okay, back into memory mode anyway. Frequency channel mode. Channel mode. And now we're gonna go menu. Menu. And then go back to VFO channel. And look, you can see here, if we press number one, if we press OK MDFA, we can tell it to show the name and you just go up and down. So that's Confirm. been selected. Of course, you can do this in the software. So now we're going to go channel edit name. And at the moment, there's no name. So look, ABC shows here. If we want capitals, press the hash. And then we're going to go usual old fashioned phone, G, B, uh, press the hash for numbers. Three, hash again, W, and then PQR. Confirm. Confirm. Back out. And the names of that is small. I wonder if there's a way of showing it bigger. I'll have to learn that. So at the moment, I don't even know of a single screen mode. But it's a beautiful set. You heard the air band. Now, if you want the CB to transmit on FM, you need to buy the Pro model when it's available. If you want it to, when you go into the sort of HF radio mode by pressing the bottom button here, it can let me go in because I have been changing some of the parameters. There it goes. It, do, it will receive, you can even type in a HF frequency. And you've got the selections here. Oh, it's, if someone speaks on your handbands, it will automatically switch back and let you hear that first. You can just type in the frequency, look. I just noticed that we're in memory mode. So press the VM and now you can start typing in the frequency. But the Pro model gets AM and FM. It does allow you to go, if we go to Modulation type, AM, FM. If you go to work band, you've got long wave, medium wave, and short wave. Back out. So it's a solid looking, beautiful set. Lots of buttons you can program. Front, backlit buttons, LED, no torch. And every knob is a actual changing knob. There's no pulling out the antenna. And um, so I think many are going to be saying well we just would rather have the pro model because then we know we can do hf so i'm going to say to um rad tell myself look i think you should at least give us upper sideband and lower sideband on the hf side um, so okay thank you very much bye